Okay, so before we get into the river, we're just going to go over our survival swimming position. Anyone want to help me out? Yep. Come on, Zach. You lead us through. Alrighty. So we're going to have our feet facing downstream. Yep. Sort of at a 45 degree angle. Cool. And it's going to be like we're sitting in a go-kart. Nice. Good. So let's think about the advantages of actually being in this position when we're survival swimming. Why do we want to be like this? You can use your feet to fend off obstacles. Mm-hmm. Good. So that you can see down the river. Right. Anything else? Oh, and that means that your arms are free so you can help steer and prepare yourself. So we can use our arms to help us go to where we want to be. Okay, everyone. Come and have a go. Everyone set? Yeah. It's okay? Yeah. Let's have a look. Okay team, I think that looks great. We're good to go. Let's go and get changed. Hi team, we're now going to have our safety briefing for today's survival swimming exercise. For our purposes today, we're going to be running three zones. A cold zone, which is an area where we don't have to be wearing the equipment that we're currently wearing a warm zone that will allow where you must be wearing your equipment as we are now and the hot zone which is the area that you're wearing your equipment in the water itself you're going to get wet. Typically the warm zone is about three meters from the water's edge so we know what's going on as far as that concerned. During the exercise we'll be going through and doing a survival swim. We will enter the river to my left and then we'll come out on the river to my right over here. If you miss the exit point, don't worry, float down a bit further and there's a second exit point just a wee bit further down. Okay, if you get into trouble while you're in the water, a throw bag like this may be thrown at you once we've got your attention. Please grab it and you'll be reined into the shore closest to you. Okay, a few things about communication around rivers. If I ask you or make eye contact with you and ask you, are you okay? If you respond with your hand going on top of your head, you are okay. Any other response, you're in trouble and we'll apply rescue techniques to you. Is everybody okay with that? Reminder that the first aid kit is just up there. And if you're not feeling so well or you're starting to get cold, you need to let one of us know. All right, now, before we go in, last little checks, we want to check that our PFD is on properly. How do we do that? Oh, you get a buddy to check your PFD and try and pull it above your ears, and if it does lift above, then it's too loose, you need to tighten it. Excellent. The other thing we want to check is that all our boot laces are done up, so let's just do a buddy check, checking all the buckles are done up. All right, boot laces are secure. Yeah. <laughs> 